I have a lot of shoes. I'm not like a shoe collector, but I got a lot of Nikes. A lot of Nikes. It has to be in the hundreds somewhere. I think this is the pinnacle of customer service and uh, customization. Globally, this is the only place you can do this. Welcome to Nike Sportswear Bespoke. I'm definitely excited. I want to see how it's going to all turn out. Try my hand at designing a shoe. And then... I feel like you're in like a factory, you know? <laughs> I got all the instruments there and everything. Pretty cool. We're going to be customizing a uh, shoe today. So we're working with the Air Force One. Very iconic Nike shoe. Came out around 82. Look at it from the inside out. Choose out of 82 different colors and materials. They were hand chosen. It's a good palette for us to start with this. We're going to be dealing with each section of the shoe. The tip, the eye state, the foxing, the quarter panel on the lateral side, quarter panel on the medial side, the swooshes, the back stay, the back tab, the lining, the tongue, the tongue label, the Nike Air logo on the back tab, the side wall, the outsole, Air logo on the midsole, the stitching around the entire shoe, the swoosh stitching, the fit, type of laces, the hardware, whether we go silver, black, or gold. You see the shoe so many different ways, it's kind of like, Right. You didn't and know then, if they and, had uh, names on or what, you just kind of... And then, you know, the streets always make their own names. Yeah. <laughs> we have swatches, all the materials that we'll go over. And look to see which ones you like best. The iconic elephant print, salvage denim, a wax canvas, patent leathers, and new bucks, safari print, tumbled leather, Crocs, reflective mm -hmm. material, nice suede, the wax materials, full grain leathers, metallic leathers, and the mesh. I can ask you this too. Do you have a favorite color? Orange. I love orange too. This guy looks orange. Yeah, my car's orange. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they come in knowing exactly what they want. I like to let people be themselves. I would let them go in the direction that they feel is best for them. I have to recognize other people's tastes and, and make the best of them. I'm kind of feeling this gray crop. It's been a favorite. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people have been into that. From there, after we choose the materials, then I would go over and pull a few suggestions in midsoles and outsoles. I'll uh, render it up a few different ways so that we can uh, decide which way is best for you. Now we're going to personalize it. It's going to be laser etched on the debris itself. Three characters or numbers. T-O-O -O. and then M-E-R on the other one. Which style of fonts? I like this one right here. That was the easiest part. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, like I go into the store and I look at the shoes and I'm like, oh man, they could have put that there. You know, you always think you can design it better than designers, but it's pretty, it's pretty challenging. I picked all the colors and stuff, but I trust their professionalism to try and put it all together. Like one thing that I really liked was the orange and then the croc, and then they kind of helped the shoe come together from there. I like that one. For Bespoke, I feel it's the uh, sneaker enthusiast, so far anyway. We've got a lot of interest from people that are just intrigued about Bespoke. Really, I think it's for everyone. But it's a great, uh, it's a great little segment. I really like the shoe. A lot of fellas here at the store, when it came, liked it too. We uh, do have it on file. You know, if somebody starts to get close, I'll warn them <laughs> of their uh, infringement. That's nice. Very nice. This is a coveted tag in the sneaker world. A lot of kids always look for shoes that have this on it. Got the Feng Tay tag on it. That means that it's something exclusive. I didn't and know this that. one's even more exclusive because, you know, someone else didn't design it. You did. This came out pretty nice. It'd definitely be a special occasion shoe. Shoe trees come with it. Keep them in. Yeah. Keep them fresh. Keep you smelling nice too. The cedar. Uh -huh. Real deal. Went all out. I, I gotta find a way to keep them clean because uh, I definitely want to have these pair of shoes for a long time. It's not every day you get to have your own shoes made up. All I can hope for is to, to help everyone as much as I can to make beautiful shoes.